Hi, this is Egg Beast, and today I'm gonna go I'll just quickly run through how to uh, animate a muzzle flash on a vehicle. So, what we're looking at here is a Chinook helicopter. It's got um, three machine guns on it, so you can just about see them here in the doors at the front on the right and left, and there's one here on the ramp. Okay, so we've got three three guns. So how do we animate three muzzle flashes? Well, here's one I prepared earlier. This is the weapons just separated on their own. You can see they've got lights attached to them as well. Um, and I'm using proxies for some parts of the weapon, which is why you can't see the whole thing. Anyway, when we go back to my LOD1 here, I've just separated out the muzzle flashes, which are called MG1 Zasle, MG2 Zasle, MG3 Zasle. Just to check MG1 is the left gun at the front mg2 is the right gun at the front and mg3 is the ramp gun okay so we go to the memory lods and we need an axis so typically in your weapon you're going to have a, a muzzle and a chamber and the way i tend to name them is a bit like the bi czech names usti hlavne and konek hlavne uh, or Hlavna, I guess it's pronounced. Um, so MG1, Osti Hlavna, that's the front of the gun. MG1, Konek, Hlavna is the end of the gun. Now I'm going to hold Control and right click and do New and make it MG1, Barrel, Axis. Copy, right, and then for these two, um, these two, I'm going to do right click, new, and MG2 barrel axis. And for these two at the back here, you've guessed it, it's going to be MG3 barrel axis. Okay, so we've now made an axis for to rotate around. Uh, which the muzzle flash can rotate around for each one and it's obviously part of the weapon so when you turn the turret um, the gun is carried on the turret so the gun will turn MG um, Usti Hlavne and Konek Hlavne are part of the gun selection so they will always turn and move as will the muzzle flash because uh, they're all they're all sub bones of the um, of the turret and then of the gun and so that's quite an important point because people forget to add their their um this selection here which is your your muzzle flashes these need to be defined as bones otherwise they can't rotate because they need to be they, they need to be a bone to be animated so we've now made our our barrel axis and we know that they're called mg1 zasle mg mg2 zasle and mg3 zasle okay so let's look at the next thing let's look at the Muzzle flash. So I'm going to copy a muzzle flash rotation from another helicopter that I've been working on the, the shock tour. Put it into the Chinook, and I'm going to go to my. Um, in fact, actually, first of all, what I'm going to do is you'll see here in my in my base Chinook, I have got my MG1, Otto Vez, Otto Klavan, and so on. And so Otto Hlaven is my gun. Otto Vez is my is my um ah actually this will do is my is my turret. So I'm just gonna copy that bottom one there and instead of trigger being part of gun I'm gonna put a Zasle. So that is now defined as a bone. And that is the muzzle flash, which we can now animate. And I'm gonna do the same thing for MG2. MG2 Zasle is part of bone MG2 Otto Klavan. And then the same here, MG3. Easy mistake you can make here is forgetting that you've got no comma there, which will break your model config. All right, there we go. And right, so we've now defined three muzzle flash bones. No problem. So what's next? So we're going to go to um, the model that uses that. Um, 
there. There we go. So you'll see we've got section names of these uh, Zaslays already. So that's basically so the animation can the f selection fire anim go on and off for the for the muzzle flash and switching it on and off. But we don't have a we've got the the main turret and the main gun and the trigger and the and the magazine hide and the you know the ammo belt and all that stuff. But what we don't have is a muzzle flash rotation. So let's just copy one from there and pop it in here under MG1 and I'm going to call it um MG1 muzzle flash rot. Now the type is rotation, source is going to be um it's, this is whatever you want to call it in your config which we'll get to. This is a custom animation source. It's not ammo random, it doesn't work in vehicles. Ammo random needs to be applied to a custom animation source which we're going to make in a moment. So for now, I'm just going to call it MG1 muzzle flash source there we go or in fact let's just get rid of the muzzle give it a nice short shorter name mg1 flash source okay it loops uh, the selection should be obviously mg1 zasley and the axis we've just made is mg1 barrel axis. Let me just check that that actually exists in my memory lod now. Let's just do delete empty and that will reorganize this list. MG1 barrel axis. There we go. That's MG1 barrel axis. Yep, with all the right underscores. And then center vertex is true, min value 0, max value 4, which means it will rotate four times in a second or in an iteration. Um, Actually, no, it won't. It means it will rotate a quarter of a turn each each time it fires. And angle naught naught, angle one rad three sixty. No problem. So that's that's MG one done. Let's copy that, and then go and find. Whoops, Control F. Let's go and find MG two main turret, and just apply one here. And in fact, I can cut some corners here by making my MG2 inherit off of my MG1. I can get rid of that. I wonder if I could use the same source. No, that's the whole point is every weapon has to have its own source. And we need MG2 Zasla as the selection. MG2 barrel axis. The rest of it, forget, because we're inheriting. Okay. And then we're going to go and find um, MG3 main turret. And we're basically going to paste that in. And then change that to MG3. Because we're just basically repeating ourselves. So we've now set up three different animations in our model config. I'm going to save that. So that will rotate the selection, which is the animation, which is the uh, the muzzle flash. It will rotate it around the axis that we created, which is using the chamber and muzzle um, points to to create a an axis that rotates around the end of the barrel. And it's using this custom animation source. So if we, if we need to add an MG1, MG2, MG3 flash source to our our config. So here's a config I did earlier, just copying that. I'm not expecting you to see it. So now we go into our Chinook, we go into our animation sources, and you see we've got a reload anim already set up, which is using this weapon, M60 version 1 for me, or M60 vehicle version 1, yeah. So I'm going to basically just make a new animation source. I'm going to take it, I'm going to inherit it from MG1 reload anim. Paste, and... I'm going to call it copy I'm going to call it MG1 flash source. So we've now defined MG1 flash source which is used in the model config. This is currently looking at MG3 flash source, but don't worry. Let's have a look one. Okay, there. So it's used here for MG1 muzzle flash rotation. 
and that's the name of it. Its source is ammo random and it because it's inheriting here from my reload anim above it's taking the value weapon equals this. So the weapon on M60 V1 when it fires the ammo random source will apply to it and will power this animation source called MG1 flash source which will then allow your 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 MG1 ZAS to rotate. So I'm now going to copy that and I'm going to apply it to MG2 and just change all of this from MG1 to MG2. It helps that I've already set these things up and then MG3 needs the same thing. Three, three, and that's that. And that basically will now animate and be fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is just to show you this in operation is do a bulldozer session. Let's open it up. And they all have to have their own animation sources, you see, and that's the trick with vehicles. So, so we're in Bulldozer now. We're looking at an M60 on the left side, which is MG1. Now, when I cycle through the animation sources using Enter key, we should find MG1. Right, there we go. MG1 turret. So that shows you it's an M60. MG1 gun. Okay, so you can see it moving. And if we just go back, MG1 flash source rotates your muzzle flash around your axis. Now if we go in real close to it and have a look and just check it's centered on the barrel. You see it's dropping out the bottom of the barrel slightly. That's because our our muzzle flash itself is not lined up with those animation points. So if I alt tab I'm hoping this will still get picked up by um by fraps. So what I'm going to do is view front and um, let's hide all of that and then let's bring back MG1, 2 and 3 parts. Okay, and then let's look at MG1 Zasle which is here. And I want to see where that's centered. So that is the center of my, that should be right in the middle of the barrel. Now, if we go to the memory points here and look at the, the, um, the barrel axis is here. Okay. So something wrong there, isn't there? Let's view left. So that's my barrel axis. Now I'm just going to take my MG1 gun, which is actually uh, a proxy that I'm using. So I just need to find it. That's MG1 proxy, view, show proxy objects. Yep, that's my gun. So I'm going to copy that for a moment into my memory LOD, just as a temporary measure. View, show proxy objects again. And you will see that my barrel axis is not lined up. So let's go for MG1 barrel axis, barrel axis, view, front. And you can see that's the center of the barrel. My barrel axis is way low. So I'm just going to lock the Y. I'm going to take MG2 barrel axis at the same time because it's, cause it's, it's um, symmetrical. And I'm going to move them because they're basically both going to be out of line. And I'm going to move them up to about here, which is about in the center, roughly. Um, for some reason, my view left. My chamber is a bit low, which means my guns is firing high. So let me just check that out, zoom in, and yeah, I'm going to lock the Y, I'm just going to line those up, that's better. Now I'm going to look at MG2 barrel axis, star, 
same here lock the Y line those up that will now aim true instead of shooting too high so that's kind of roughly in the right place and you can see that there's still a gap because we've got our Zasle is as you can see there so let's look at MG1 Zasle and MG2 Zasle MG2 Zasle is there and they need to be down here somewhere when you look at the memory we we'll zoom right in now that's about there so go back to the LOD 1 and drag down to about here this thing what we're going to do now is just grab the barrel axis copy it paste it into LOD 0 and then we can reposition this perfectly so Let's take MG2 Zasle because that's what it is. And that's now needs to be lined up X and Y on those points. Now I'm going to hide it and just delete those points. Now let's look at, let's go across to MG1 Zasle. So there's a bit of fine tuning to do here at the end. Um, that's where our current muzzle flash is is positioned and then we need to go memory that's where our actual barrel is go back, copy those points paste them in reposition the muzzle flash so it lines up that way doesn't have to be exact but you know there we go and that's about lined up hide delete and last thing just right click on the selections window and delete empty just to get rid of the axis points that are now empty so that's what you would do now is you would take your mg1 zasle and mg2 zasle um mg2 mg1 and you need to copy them across onto the other you're not so worried about the say LOD um, 2 and 3 and 4 but view gunner because he's looking right through that um, he's looking right through that gun so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go I'm going to find MG1 Zasle here MG2 Zasle here and I'm going to press delete right click delete empty because if I didn't do that it wouldn't delete the actual proxy and it would then change the proxy indexing when I paste this in so I'm just pasting those in now. Um, view cargo. Uh, yeah, might as well do it on here as well. MG1 Zasle, MG2 Zasle, delete, right click, delete empty, and paste. Now the only thing is, all your glass is now going to be having the Zasle showing white through it. So you just have to remember at the end of it all to grab your glass, Control Shift Home because we've just pasted a new selection in there. Glass, Control Shift Home, and that basically just makes the glass top of the uh, texture list. So that's, now I didn't look at the ramp one. Let's, um, let's have a look at this one. So, um, uh, okay, let's just move the turret back out, move in. So now let's see, is this, is this gonna be I'm hoping this is all showing up on fraps. Uh, so let's have a look at the animation source, MG1 flash source. And you can now see your muzzle flash is rotating inside the um, the bird cage, which is where you want it. And I'll just check on uh, muzzle flash two. So let's find MG2 turret, bring it towards us. There we go. And then flash source. And you can see it's nicely rotating inside the bird cage, which is where we want it. Okay, and then let's just have a look at the ramp. So this is MG3. And that one, luckily, no, it's dropping through the bottom, as you can see. Okay, so we're going to have to do it the same with MG3. View left. Go onto the back ramp let's have a look All right um, mg3 
which is an M60, where is it, MG1 proxy number 3 copy, no it's not that one, proxy number 2, yeah, ok, copy, into memory, paste, view, show proxy objects, view, front, star, and down, right, ok, and you can see here that that's our barrel axis and it's way off. So we're going to move it up into the center of this barrel. Star. Right, move it up into the center and then line these points up so that they're, they're now shooting true. Pretty much true. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy those points into our LOD1 paste. And now we want MG3 Zaslay. MG3 Zaslay, and you'll see it's way off. Look, so let's bring it down to there. Let's drag it across to there, and then hide it. Delete those points. Right click, delete empty. MG3 Zaslay, come back. Grab it. Control Shift H to unhide it. Now we want to copy that and we want to go into View Gunner. That's MG3 Zaslay, I already know. Delete, right click, delete empty, paste. View Cargo. It's this one. Delete, right click, delete empty, paste. Now again, I'm just going to go grab the glass. Control Shift Home, View Gunner, Glass. Control shift home. It helps if you've pre-made all your glass as a as a selection so that you can just grab it and put it back to the top. Now last thing is go to memory lod and remember I've pasted in some weapon proxies in here. You shouldn't have any proxies in your memory lod. So let's just grab those two. And you'll see here if I grab them and delete them, they still exist here in the selections window, and that's why we just right click delete empty and that gets rid of them and we're good to save and let's look again at lod one now let's look at our animate look at our barrel um, flash rotating and you can see it's rotating inside the bird cage it's not going outside of the barrel looking good and that's basically your three muzzle flashes all animated and and working um, when you actually load it in game obviously you, your com your new config is going to do the job so that's it that's it pretty simple stuff if you've got five weapons on a vehicle you just need to add five animation sources the way i've just done it it's all pretty simple cheers